New cars are coming equipped with automation systems designed to help you drive, but many of these systems are being misused. Tonight, CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprasha digs deeper into car safety and automated driving systems. When you drive a semi autonomous vehicle, there is a lot to think about. Watch the road. Keep your hands on the wheel. Stay in your lane. Watch your stopping distance. And the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says new cars are not doing a good job of warning drivers about the misuse of those automated systems. But these are still driver assistance systems, not driver replacement systems. Systems like adaptive cruise control, which automatically changes speed to keep a safe distance between vehicles, or lane centering systems, make some drivers feel like the car can drive itself, when in fact it can't. Do television advertisements play a role in that misuse? They do play a role. What they portray in terms of how these systems can be used is critical to educating consumers. All these systems come with warnings to drivers, but the way those warnings work varies based on the time elapsed before those warnings kick in. The IIHS says it's going to begin to rate those systems and their warnings as part of its crashworthiness tests. One of our recommendations is, is to have this escalated series of warnings that are both audible, visual, and haptic. The IIHS ratings also will require adaptive cruise control, which won't automatically resume after a lengthy stop, automation features which can't be turned on if seat belts are unfastened. We do not want them to misuse the technology. Safety advocates are liking all of these driver assistance systems to the Wild West saying nobody is looking at their implementation or standardization. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprazier. All right, Steve, thank you. A 36-story apartment complex